You know, this is obviously a sensitive period for the bilateral relationship between the Philippines and, and China. Now, first of all, I'd like to have your assessment about the uh, general relationship between Manila and Beijing. Since uh, President Duterte came into power last June 30 and swore in as the President of the Philippines, the foreign policy has changed from, from then on. Now our country is treading an uh, independent foreign policy, uh, and w one of which is to open its doors to more countries for investments. And these countries may not be the countries that are, that are favorable for, for the Western world. And um, that's one, that's China, there's Russia, and uh, other countries as well are uh, open to invest in the Philippines and establish strong bilateral ties. Everybody would believe that President Duterte would definitely raise the issue of the South China Sea. However, your Foreign Secretary, um, Mr. Prefecto Yase, said on Monday that President Duterte would not raise the uh, Philippines claim in the South China Sea in his bilateral meeting with the Chinese President Xi Jinping. But he would do so in, you know, quickly and generally addressing some kind of issues about the territorial disputes. What do you make of uh, the, uh, uh, what's going to happen between the two heads of state? President Duterte has time and again reiterated that he will take it in a soft landing manner when it comes to the West Philippine Sea or the South China Sea. There are more issues and there are more concerns that uh, should be raised and there are more opportunities lying ahead that should be taken into consideration when it comes to bilateral ties between one country to the other. And our president would like to explore the other options and the other opportunities that lie in the table of a bilateral uh, relationship.